Hey guys, Brady here. Um, so I know I'm a little late on this, but I just wanted to talk about the whole Tom Cruise thing that happened uh, a couple weeks ago on the set of Mission Impossible 7 where he like flips out on the um, crew members and all that for not keeping their social distancing. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, I first heard this from a conservative conservative a conservative channel that I watch like I watch like a lot of conservative youtubers because I'm kind of I'm kind of conservative myself now um may not uh like have the same ideolo ideologies um as most conservatives but I do agree with a lot of the points they make and all um but I uh Mark Dice and people like Josiah Rises they they've got They've got Tom Cruise wrong. Like Tom Cruise was completely, completely in the right for uh, what he did on set. Um, they're like, oh, it's another Hollywood elite crying and being a liberal and all. It's like, fuck off. This is Tom Cruise. He's trying. He's working his ass off to um, give us quality entertainment. He's like the one of the few actors out there right now trying to give us uh cinematic experience uh though no, i mean trying to keep the cinematic experience alive um he's like like a big name in the industry uh he he he, he uh loves the theater going experience and wants to keep it alive as long as possible um with uh and It'd be a damn shame if that space movie is doing go straight to Netflix or whatever. Because Tom Cruise actually going into space that needs to be seen on like IMAX or whatever. But that's besides the point. Um. So yeah, he's he's trying to he's trying to make sure everybody's safe on on, on the set. Um. Could he have gone it out a different way? Possibly. Uh. I don't like like I said. I don't like how like these YouTubers are attacking Tom Cruise. It's obviously something happened before this they're just like oh it's another hollywood hollywood liberal uh whining and complaining about covid like fuck off with that bullshit there has to have been something that um that led up to like no one's gonna blow up on someone for no fucking reason there had to have been like uh other um occasions of people not social distancing and tom cruise let it slide and then it just, and then it, and then like, this might have been like, I don't know, like the fifth time they've done this. And so he's like, you know what, I, I got to, uh, I got to be the boss now and like reprimand them for this and make sure they won't do this again. And that, that's my uh, thoughts on the story. Um, yeah, Tom Cruise was completely in the right. Uh, he's, he's not like, uh, the Tom Hanks or the the Chris Evans or like everyone in the MCU who uh talking about like politics and all he's actually I don't actually I don't actually think he's a political person he he keeps his beliefs to himself which is good uh, that's another thing Kurt Russell just came out saying that like uh, actors are pretty much uh this uh in that generation uh today's society's like court gestures uh we we are here to entertain no one cares about our politics and i'm paraphrasing but that's pretty much what kurt russell said and i agree kurt uh people, we need more actors like kurt russell who keeps their opinions to themselves tom cruise who keeps their opinions to themselves um we don't need Tom Hanks, Mill Streep, Chris Evans, uh, half the cast of the MCU constantly badgering us about how bad Donald Trump is. We get it. You don't like him. You don't have to constantly go on Twitter and whine and complain about the president. Um, you're actually isolating half your fan base by doing that. That's why I don't listen to Eminem anymore because he's just a whiny SCW liberal um, that I've lost respect for. He's a sellout. Um, the moment he said, fuck you. Uh, for supporting Trump, uh, I uh, stopped listening to his music. I mean, I've, I heard the thing maybe a year or two later, so I'm a, I'm a little late. But better late than never. 
Uh, I have all but one song of him on my phone, and that's Venom from the Venom movie, because I actually kind of like that song. Um, I just hope he's not doing this soundtrack for Venom 2. Um, it's a damn shame, because I actually really liked Eminem. Um, I thought his music was great. Uh, his lyrics are, like, his flow, his lyrics, just his work, just everything about Eminem was just so fucking great. He was, like, my favorite rapper of all time. And then he became a sellout liberal who endorsed Joe Biden or voted for Joe Biden. But that's besides the point. Um yeah. Uh that's career suicide. You should hate the president all you want. That is fine. But the moment you say fuck you to your fans for supporting the president, that's that's just where that's where I draw the line. Like you can't just you can't just do that um, to the people that that love and support you. Uh, it's literally half your fan half your fan base you just told the fuck off. Um, I have Eight Mile on Blu-ray. I'm still gonna keep Eight Mile on Blu-ray, but I'm probably not gonna watch Eight Mile ever again because fuck Eminem. But yeah. Yeah, Tom Cruise completely in the in the right. Uh, he was completely right in this matter. Um, he he wants he wants to keep everyone safe. He doesn't want the production to shut down again because he wants. He's not looking at this as as a as me me me. He's looking at it as a whole. Like like this is a this is a bigger picture. He like. Not the actors, but the crew members on this movie. They're just ordinary people like you and me. So if they're out of the job, they, how are they going to support their family? He was trying to make sure not just him and like Rebecca Ferguson and uh, Chris Mercury and all those other uh, Simon Peck. He wasn't just making sure that they were safe. He was making sure that the crew members who have families to go to after work and don't want them to get sick. He was making sure that they were safe too. So props to Tom Cruise.